Hey guys, back for another one. This video is, well, one of the series I'm doing a little while ago. I asked you guys if there's something you wanted to know, just ask in the comments or ask and I'll do a video on it if I knew about it. This is the first one that come through. A gentleman's asked me to talk about different ways to catch dolphin fish off the fads. Okay. First of all, I've already done like fad ones before and there's one main one. I've done about different lures, um, different ways, different techniques to catch a few dolphin fish uh, with lures and live baits. I'm going to put the link below for that one, okay, for you guys to go have a look at. It is an older video, so the quality is not as good, um, so it's not in 4K, it's, it's quite an old video. But the tips and tricks are very good. People still watch it, still, um, still watch it, still use those tips and thank me for them. But I'm going to say in the live baiting section, guys, in that video, the link below, I do talk about live baits, but most importantly, I talk about hook placements on the live baits. Okay? I want you guys to listen to that part very carefully because I've had a lot of guys thanking me saying they, they've been catching more dolphin fish at fads because of that. Um, one guy even reckons he's tenfold at his catch just because of the hook placements on the live baits. Okay? So go to that link below to the older, older one. It's not good quality to watch, but it's got some good tips and tricks. And listen to the live bait part, especially the hook placement. It'll really help you out that well. But for this one, it's still going to be dolphin fish, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about and show you an unusual way to catch dolphin fish at fads. I know a couple of people that still do this. I did this when I was down south. Um, a couple of friends still do it. Most people don't know about it, that's why they don't do it. But I'm just going to show you this very unusual way. And guys, once you see it, I want you to go out, buy this thing, and give it a crack. You might be surprised at how well it actually works. But before we get into it and I show you what this actually is, I will say it's not going to work in high current. So if you go to the 36s and the 50s and stuff down south, or up the Gold Coast of South, where there's fads and dolphin fish, if there's high currents, this Lure, it is a lure, it won't work too well. It wants to be just a, you know, a slow run. Okay, so go to the fads, if you've got a nice slow run or a steady run, and you can see a few dolphin fish, doesn't matter if they're this big or that big, doesn't matter on the size, a dolphin fish will have a crack at this. As long as there's not a hundred boats on it, yeah, spooking absolutely living bejesus out of them. Um, so low currents and not many boats around, what I'm about to show you, go track them down, give them a crack, you might be actually very surprised. Okay? And for all the other tips and lures and stuff I'll talk about, once again, video below, the link to the old video, but plenty of good tips in that one, and listen to the live bait section. Okay, so we're not going to be talking today about jerk baits or hard bodies. That's out. They do work. We're not going to be talking about micro jigs, you know. That's out. We're not going to be doing any of that. We're not going to be talking about poppers, stick baits, any of that sort of things. They're out. That's it. That's it. What we are going to be talking about, and I'm making some noise, sorry, is these things. Something very different. A lot of you guys will know what this is, but I bet you haven't used it for dolphin fish or mahi mahi. And from our overseas viewers, a lot of the guys will know what this is too, and they'll probably be able to go out and give it a crack themselves for mahi. That does work very well. Okay, what I'm talking about, guys, are these. Okay, this is actually, these lures are actually from America, they're called Sluggos, yeah, S-L-U-G-G-O, Sluggo. Okay, you can get them from America, um, they still sell them, they've been around for years and years and years, I know the bass guys use them and stuff over there, I love them. These things are awesome. There's a guy by the name of Chris down the Gold Coast, he made these famous, catching big flooding. Okay, it's just because of the action of them. Um, I got told about these oh, probably 25 years ago, they've been around for a long time, by a friend, Raf, who used to use them down in Sydney for kingfish, yellowtail kingfish. Love these things, these are awesome for king use as well. But no one uses them on dolphin fish and no one uses them around fads and I don't know why. We have tried it and they do work and they work, work exceptionally well, especially if the current, like I said, is a slower current. And the, the fad's not getting bombarded by a hundred boats because, you know, when the fish are shy, they're shy. They're not going to eat anything, even live baits. Okay, so you want to leave it to late afternoon when no one's around or early morning and be one of the first boats out there and hit them before everyone else shows up. Okay, 
So what these are, these are what they do. They're a nine inch sluggo. They are hard to find, or you have to go to America to get them. But there is a, an Australian company, or the company bought them out in Australia, okay? And they call them slap sticks. If you look for slap sticks um, by Sealstar, okay? They're basically a copy of these sluggos. They're not quite the same texture, but they're very close and they work just as well, okay? So go look for slap sticks, nine inch. Nine inch slapsticks if you don't want to wait six weeks from you know get these from America. Okay. Um, and the thing about these are they act the way they act, the movement on them, they act like a like a you could say a dying bait fish. It's so good. You just need a nice carbon fiber rod. Um, of course when we're chasing flathead and stuff, all of them are using little gear, but our chasing dolphin fish and even kingies and stuff down Sydney or in the broadwater like we used to, something like a five thousand reel. I'm just a nice 10 kilo, 7 foot casting rod, okay? That's a nice 10 to 15, but just, that's got 10 kilo on it. Something like that, you can cast. And the whole idea of these things is twitching, okay? So these are basically a twitch bait. So you just give your rod a rip, and these will dart off. And then they'll like, curve and get float upside, go upside down, and sink away like that, like a dying bait fish. And then when you rip your rod again, they'll go the other way, and then just dart off and float down like a dying bait fish. They're... The action of these things, it's so good, so realistic. They work really, really well. And after you give it a rip and it darts and then it just curls over and just you know glides off slowly like a bait fish dying. That's when the fish hit these things. As it's falling and gliding down, it's like it's starting to die and go down, that's when they get smashed. You don't work them too hard, cast them up current, wind up your little bit of line, give it a rip, make this thing just like dart through the water, and then it'll just curve and go down and die, you know, like that. And then it'll go the other way, opposite way. Just like an erratic dying bait fish. These things are awesome for a lot of species. But no one uses them around fads. Guys, do yourself a favour. Go out and get these things. Give them a crack around fads. Either get them from the US or get the Australian or the you know, seal star ones, the slapsticks. Okay, you can get them here in Australia in most tackle shops. And they're not that expensive. Okay, it's usually about two, you get like two a pack. And to rig them. Rig them's not that hard. Okay. They're very simple. So what you're going to want after you buy them, you're going to want your weedless hook, okay, in a 9-0. Hopefully you guys can see that. You probably can't. It's probably a bit light, sorry. But that's just a 9-0, okay, 9-0 weedless. And it's in line, right? And then you're going to want some trebles, usually about a size 2, roughly, depending on the brand. I don't usually run Shinto's, but this is what I found in the box in a size 2, so I'll just show you. Just for demonstration, I prefer BKKs and stuff. I find these things too weak, they'll break. But if you find like a number 2 or so in a BKK, fine. Or some other, whatever hook you prefer. Everyone's got their own favourites, I'm just not a fan of them. Okay, some of them, um, some 40 pound trace, some thin 40 pound trace. I know that sounds heavy, but we're not chasing flathead here, we're out going to chase mahi mahi. And the fish that will eat these will range from very small to very large. So 40 pounds a safe bet. And then all I want you to do is rig it up like so. You can see the weedless in the front there, hooked up, okay? You can see that proper. And then hopefully you can see a bit of fishing line. I've got a fishing line tied for the front eye, down to a treble, a stinger in the back, okay? So hopefully you can see that. We've got the hook up one there, and then we've got the stinger here with 40 pound trace. And make sure it's the, the line between is not tight, so it's not kinking this. Make sure it's a little bit loose. It's got a little bit of play in there, so the lure can bend and kick and do what it needs to do, okay? And then all you do with your other leader, is tie it straight into this first hook. Cast, like I said, up current, one up a little bit slack, give it a rip and let it dart off and then sink, and then dart off the other way and sink. and Just gives it action of a dying bait fish. And dolphin fish out in the fads love this thing, okay? So the fads use these. If you're in the broad water and you see some kingfish, use these. Down to Sydney Harbour, use these for kingfish. Down the rip, you see them on the surface, they're up high. Kingfish love these things as well. But we're talking about mahi. Mahi love these. Even if you're out trawling for marlin, guys, um, you got your pattern out and you're trawling around, you see a current line or something, you're cruising along it as we do, and occasionally you'll see a few dolphin fish. You will see some dolphin fish while you're trawling for marlin. Have a casting rod there. When you see them on the surface, cast this thing while you're trawling into the front of the fish. Give it a couple of twitches. I bet you, you hook up. I put money on it. Okay? 
these things are just really good to have ready to go. I've never actually tried them on tuna, but if you see a tuna school or see some yellowfin or something, it wouldn't hurt to throw this into the school and give it a couple of twitches. I reckon a yellowfin would jump all over it. Never tried that, and actually it's not bad. I might <laughs> give that a crack myself while I'm up here. But if you see some big tuna, even some long tails, big long tails, cast this in, give it a couple of twitches. You might be surprised on what actually is this lure. It works that well. It really does. I don't promote a lot of lures, as you know, but that one's that's a good one, and it's been around for a long time for a reason. Okay. So. Um, once again, for the gentleman asked about the dolphin fish and anyone else who wanted a few more tips, link below for an old video. Um, it is an old video, but lots of, I do talk about lots of different lures, the jigs, um, jerk baits, dead baits, how to you know, run live baits, where to hook or like hook placements on live baits. That's a part I want you to listen to in the video below. Go to the hook placements, because I've had a lot of guys thanking me for that, because it's really updated their catch rate of fades for dolphin fish. Go and listen to that one. And do yourself a favour, get some sluggos from America or slapsticks, the Aust you know, Australian version, cheaper version, but they do work just as well. Okay? They're nine inch. They are the six inch version of these, they don't work, they well they're crap, they don't work at all. Has to be the nine inch, guys. Make sure it's nine inch. Anyway, that's our first video down. The next one, a gentleman asked me, he just wants to know, he laid out the rules, he told me everything's body mackerel. So <laughs> That could be an interesting one because there's so many different ways to chase spotties. So the next one's going to be an all out on spotty mackerel and things you've heard of, things you probably haven't heard of and uh, all sorts. But anyway, next one's spotty mackerel. And then a couple of other ones that just come through will do. They're going to be interesting ones. And I'm having a look at a few boats soon too, so I might actually hopefully show you around my new boat. Might be nothing too flash, but I'll get me out here fishing off cans and... We'll start doing some filming what that way well, I'm out fishing at night time of cans yeah something different anyway guys thanks for that i've rattled, rattled a lot on long enough i'm having trouble speaking now i'll see you in the next video and thanks guys for watching